Whoa, hey, check it out. <laughs> added sorting and filters. Added randomize for custom packs. Added a pop-up for achievements. Change crow ability to sell. Replace shop with one chocolate that gives... Was this not what it was before? Change crow ability to sell. Replace shop with one chocolate that gives one, two, or three experience. Oh, now the crow, if it levels up, it, it can make super chocolate. Marmoset, the next one, two, or three rolls are free. Cassowary ability. End of turn. If you have at least this one strawberry pet, gain one, two, three stats. Okay, interesting. I, uh... Wait, I didn't expect this, but we're coming back. We're doing this weekly. I It's a new weekly. They changed the... They, I, I can already tell you, top posts on r slash super auto pets. Why did you change the font with the numbers? Reddit.com slash r slash super auto pets. Okay, you ready for this? Love the content. Not a huge... I, I hate the top post. I hate the new UI. The sizing of components and thick borders feels wrong. Well, they might not... Okay, sorry. They might not be wrong, but also at the same time, it's so predictable. Third post. Please revert UI for PC. Okay, hold on. Big FYI for the weekly as well, apparently. The fox can steal pills. Okay, so that's a, it's a joke. Anyway, regardless, you'll get used to it, okay? I see the cost. I see the cost up in the corner there. They got new icons and stuff too. Okay. Give it a minute to grow on you, okay? Okay, the, the stars... I don't understand what the stars are. It's experience beneath it. Roll me once. Let me get one of these. We'll figure out. Maybe we'll figure out what the stars are, okay? Name your team. Mm, let me be a, a delicious sack. That sounds perfect, okay? Uh, I, I did play one game of this uh, weekly. Oh, I like that they popped the names up, though. I played one game of the weekly on my phone. I got like five wins and learned nothing so we we got a ways to go okay we gotta we gotta learn something okay so they got a star because we got one what happens if i do this they don't go to two stars are the stars just also experience i don't know i'm not gonna combine you yet i'm gonna take one of these um i could feed somebody a food item i'd rather my new philosophy is i'd rather roll for levels than just buy like a cookie to try to get a, a win not even a cookie necessarily but um, sometimes you buy, like, an apple or something like that. Or sometimes you buy a peach or something like that. I do like that it pops up the names, because sometimes you miss the names. Now, that being said, I did click through really fast, but not so fast that I didn't see that this guy's name is The Leaking Pianist. Great name, good draw. Much more creative than, uh, the, the delicious sacks, but honestly, we make a good pair. Okay, how about one of these, one of these? Aardvark. When, you, when an enemy is summoned, gain two attack and three health. So we'd hope to go against crickets. Honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of you. Let's try this. I love it. I'm, I'm kind of digging. Oh, that shows you your existing level. Okay, now I... Dude. People are going to say I'm just trying to... Um, you know, oh, he's just being a nice guy. He's riding on coattails. I can understand the, the UI. I feel like this is something that could grow on me. You always got to give yourself time to come to terms with, like, new UI stuff. Every redesign in any product's history has always been met negatively. And then, like, a year later, people look back and they're like, A, I can't tell the difference. B, that site that I used to use that I thought I was so attached to now looks old and busted. Like, there's probably some examples. Don't get me wrong, but... No cookies, man. Give me some... Do we have some Kaiser Permanente foods? Not really. I'm rolling like a madman. Um, um, um... I'll take my level. Man, they really... They really want me to run an aardvark, huh? I mean, I'll take one. Put it there. Why not? And then just res reshuffle the whole team. I'll, I'll put it there. It's a 3-4 at least. I didn't have a lot of options. I'm clicking too fast. The leaking sacks. You know what they say. Great minds think alike. You got a level 2 fish. You got a level 1 seagull. And we got our first win of the dang day. Finally. Okay. We learned last week you have to take a toad. It's just that good. Take a toad. Take a second toad. No. 
place a toad. Salad meat? Hit you? Hit you? Okay. Well, I don't know why I did that now that I think about it. Um, I feel like our team is okay, but it has no scaling. That's my issue right now. Also, I clicked too fast. The confused pianist. Okay, did they just add sack and pianist? I hate saying that, by the way. It just didn't sound right coming out of my mouth. Did they just add sack and pianist into the game? If so, they gotta adjust the rating. This should be M for mature. Caterpillar with no scaling. Yankee with no brim with rice. 10 out of 10. Okay. Um, like, you shouldn't be here. You get pilled and then hit a useful unit. That's as useful as it's gonna get right now. Why don't we take a caterpillar? At the very least, it gives us some levels. I know. I know what you're gonna say, by the way. You're gonna say, wow, NL, novel strategy. Running um, a green beetle and then never giving it any food, even though that's the only thing that does well for it. Well, you know what? You're not wrong. Hey, bold strategy. Uh, your aardvark being completely useless because you're stupid. That's me talking to myself, just to be clear. Hold on. Mathematics? No. My, if I had my aardvark at the back, it would have slayed there. They had a sheep and a bunch of bees. I'm a fool. Okay. Hit me. Hit me. That's fine. Move the aardvark back a little bit. Place me. Is a 1-4 kangaroo good enough? Or capybara for eventual pivot? I'm going to try the kangaroo. Ah, but... We're not pivoting that much, and it's kind of sad to say, because I think the capybara can kind of go off. I've enjoyed the capybara in the limited number of packs when it's been I've, I've been able to use it. I do, I, the grumpy pants, it's a good name. Okay, you're toasted. I think we're doing okay this week. Let, let me get a, I, I'm, I'm pretty thinking six right now. Six wins. Okay, we need scaling. We don't need an aardvark. We need to scale one unit. You could scale a mantis maybe, but let's we already got this beetle going. Let's keep scaling it. Toad is gonna stay. Kangaroo, I don't think is quite good enough, but I'm not pleased to say it. Let's take a dolphin and hope to snipe some other people's caterpillars. Toad gets very close to level three and should be at the back. Roll me. I'm okay. The scaling, it's gonna take a little while to get used to the UI scaling, not just the scaling on the team. The moist fingers. Ted Danson, you've done it again. This looks like a draw. I'm no expert. This looks like a draw to me. Takes us to three. Doesn't take us anywhere, really. Okay. You should level. We may pivot at some point. I'm willing to add you to the squad. I'm hoping you get fed. You didn't. Bit of a waste. Huge, huge. Okay. Okay. So level three toad isn't that important, but it feels like it's important because it's like, it's just fun. The underwhelming dust bunnies. Okay, you know what? We're learning something from every team that we face, by the way. What did we learn here? We learned that you guys have a moose on your team. Ooh, this, this, is, this is a win. Can you believe it? Now we got some big levels coming. This could be a great time to get some high quality units. High quality H2O. Level me. You know what? You're not even anything. You're just like a guy. So I'm, I'm willing to take you. I'm not willing to pill you yet. I'll pill you next round. Lionfish, we kind of already have one in the form of a toad. And it's a pretty... Oh, I'm so stupid sometimes. <laughs> Wasted monkey, man. But imagine... It, we're in the exact position where that order actually somehow gives us the win. Imagine we're in that... That... Imagine it just happened that way, maybe? I don't know, because of the mammoth buff. Maybe it was worth it. Even though it cost us a little opportunity cost, of course. Zebra. Buy and sell. Okay, so it's... Four stat points for two gold. Kind of sick, actually. How about one of these? about one of these? Obviously, we got to keep buffing you. I don't know what kind of tier 6 equipment we got in the game right now. But this is definitely... Buy, sell. Beautiful. I'll, I'll live with it. And then you know what? We got a melon in the game. That's pretty big. But I'm going to start here. And I think this is a cause celebra. Because now we got a gorilla that's a little bit more off the ground. 615 Gorilla? I don't know. It, I don't know how the late game works on this pack yet. It's still early. 
The Leaking Burglars. I mean, I think we win this one. It also seemed... I, if there was a turtle in the pack, we would have seen it by now. All right, so we, this kind of going off. We get to six. Probably going to start to see some really scary teams. Before attack, gain melon works once per turn. Friends summoned, give us some support. Well, we're not selling a toad. We could sell a monkey at some point. Let's sell it. I know it's scary. <clears throat> Let's sell it right now. And we'll, we'll try to get this, like, super gorilla off the ground. I know it's a little insane, okay? But now we got a little super gorilla. Just need to give him some support. It's, it happens. Take some support. But now I'm like, wait, now we can't do anything with this alpaca. Because we have no space for him. The undead fuss pots. Look, I'm not mad. Sometimes you just end up getting a name that's fuss pots, okay? It's no, nobody's favorite name in the game, but you got to do something with it. Oh, good. We, we got a, a level... Wait, it traded better as a result, which is kind of funny. Maybe it actually did matter. I don't know. I still don't think it makes any sense, though. But I, I would love to get a level 2 gorilla. I mean, it's just a unit that scales really well. If, if the games go insanely long. I gotta be honest with you, brother. I don't think you, I really thought you through when I purchased you. I basically bought you as a second gorilla. Ooh, a little soup. A little cow. Delicious. Delicious. Roll me once. Start a battle. Swap attack and health of all pets. Feel like it's always gonna be scary. Um, of these, you call me as crazy as you want to call me. Ah, you just take a shark. <laughs> I was gonna take a melon. People act like melon on a gorilla is a bad thing. The melon at this stage of the game almost always pops. Like you, you almost always take damage from the hit. Okay, this is not good. Wait, no, it's actually completely fine. Which means that your melon armor gets popped, you negate 20 damage, and then you get coconut armor. Like, I think it's it still goes hard. So I, I support it, whether or not you do. I mean, and you may be right. We'll find out. I'm taking you. Like, just to get an extra attack can matter. It can matter a great deal. Now, if I had known the death touch was coming, I probably would have gone with that. But instead, you know what? We do have a level three. Let's get a hammer shark, and then we'll talk about a fox stealing a bunch of... A bunch of useful stuff later, maybe. We're kind of cruising right now. I mean, the runs have been, like, a little close, for sure. Ah, yeah, spooky, man. I mean, th this team's gonna beat us, I think. Hold on. Hold on. It's it's a battle of wills. Yeah, you're just better. <laughs> Hammerhead did not need to be at the back, but it, it wouldn't have made a difference on that, at least. Okay, so thanks for the three gold. I'm going... Forget those, man. Those cost money. It's a ripoff. And forget you. One food's not going to make the difference right now. We got to get something a little... A little next level. Like a gorilla? Apparently there's no chocolate. So, a, yes, a gorilla would hit the spot. Then I kind of wish that I had kept that snake to go behind the gorilla. But here... You know what? Here's where we are. We'll take another hammerhead. Um... Just uh, basically, we're spending three gold to get three gold back, and he's a five-five. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you're a five-five. We purged one weakness. Feels good. Where are you going? Right there. That feels bad. That feels really bad. <laughs> that feels horrendous. And we're dead. If that death touch goes like almost anywhere else, I think we're fine. But I, we learned something about the weekly. It's a nice little crash course into the weekly. You take your two threes. You take your three twos. You take a two two that gives you some support on the back end. There are pigs in this pack. When when there's pigs in the pack, it'd be a frozen computer. That it, it's a it's wordplay slightly. You ever think about the fact that if you told somebody in the Middle Ages your computer was frozen, they would probably try to light it on fire. Me neither until now. Okay, I support getting levels. So, um, so, um, you're not a level, so goodbye, even though your stats are good. Sure, buff both of them. That The odds of that were really good. Um, 
Hey, okay, I'm not mad anymore. I don't know if this is any good at all, but I'm not that mad. I really, I don't know. I, I feel like based on our sample size of one, the iguana didn't seem to have that many amazing opportunities to thrive. This one's just a little bit of bad luck. That, that could have thrived there, but we did see some bears though, it's true. How about one of these? I think a kangaroo can kind of go off. Let's let's get this. Let's get this. Not ideal. And we're just gonna. Sure, we're gonna rely on um, the iguana at the front because it just makes our kangaroo into a better unit. Might not work perfectly, but we we gotta give it a shot. Hold on, it worked perfectly. <laughs> Beautiful. And I'm already used to the new UI, man. I, I, I don't know what I would do if it left. Okay, I'm gonna get some gold. I'm gonna get some gold. Then I'm gonna add you. Not interested, quite frankly. Interested. We have to do it on purchase. I'm willing to do it on purchase. Okay. I feel like it... it even though we're four squatted, our stats are good, but... The, the buffs did not get distributed necessarily in the way that if I could choose where they would go, I probably would have changed the, the world. I could be the sunlight in your universe. It's the Eric Clapton song from the John Travolta movie Phenomenon. Anyway. You have to. Be mad. Go ahead. Be mad. I would be mad too if I was seeing the same run over and over. But there's like... I mean, this is some freaking sweet stuff we got here. The toad, it's not the weakness that the toad gives that's that incredible. It's the, whoa, did you see that kiss? <laughs> it's the fact that it overwrites equipment that lets it go off. You just enjoy the toad while it lasts. They'll probably nerf it soon anyway. It's, well, or eventually. For now, go ahead. Beautiful, and we have a level three. You couldn't ask for this to be better. Sell me, buy me, buy me. You can't, okay, a hippo, it's been a while since we had one. It's kind of tempting. But for now, I think we're just going to simmer with the team we got. I, I don't want to sell anything because we need to, well, maybe our iguana in the future. But the buffalo is going to be our scaler. None of this is that interesting. Sure, I would love a level three. Soon the buffalo can take the place of the iguana. As long as it gets some garlic. Yeah, there's a lot to like here. Although I will say I love the idea of our opponent's team. Just... Multiple capybaras, so everything you get in your shop is going to be insanely strong. This team feels like home to me right now. I do love a platypus, too. You need to have two space for it, though. We can't really do that unless we get a level 3 kangaroo, which would allow us to then sell our otter without losing our buffalo bonus. Not interested in pineapple iguana. Kind of thought, like, maybe we'd roll a dolphin, but... As long as they... With no chocolate, as long as the kangaroos are flowing, I'm a-going. This, based on what I know about this pack, which is literally a sample size of like one plus a mobile phone run, um, I feel like we're in an amazing spot right now. I feel like this is guaranteed 10 piece. Do get it twisted. Nothing could possibly go wrong for us. That's five. I do want the toad to go a little further, but you know, first start me here, start me here, roll me. Absolutely I would. I don't see a better option. I'm going to move you up. I, I hope I don't regret it. Because you do have some garlic. That's that's meritous. But a, you would die on an attack of 12, whereas our buffalo would live through an attack of 12. That's pretty unlikely to be the exact situation that comes to pass. But Oh, dude, we're, we're going. I got to say, I don't run it that often, necessarily. But kangaroo is like one of the most satisfying units to, to pop. I don't really feel like the hyena is what we're looking for, even though it is a bit of a... It's a meme and we might be able to get away with it. I think we're looking for... Goodbye, Iguana. Hi, Cow. It's a pretty... Right now, this looks like a straightforward scaling week. Limited amount of, like, sniping. Looks like kind of like turn your brain off. Buy monkeys. Put them in front of kangaroos, which is what I was going to say. A unit I should... I, that's very satisfying when you use it uh, properly. Or when you have... Oh, it frees me. Um, when you have the chance to to actually get it to pop. And a little buy-sell, like there's a shrimp, there's a platypus. 
Um, I don't know if there's a starfish. Maybe there's a starfish. It seems like it would fit with the bicells. But right now, it's just, you know, we have a turn your brain off uh, buffalo run with a almost level three kangaroo behind it and a toad, which might just be like maybe legitimately like the best three gold you could spend in the game is just on a level one toad. Controversial, perhaps, but I stand by it. Let me let me start here. It's nobody has any equipment, so it's very good. You're going to have a melon at some point, so I'm just going to buff you. I'm going to buy you, then I'm going to sell you, and I'm going to buff you. And I really feel with no equipment, we might as well just put some death touch out there. Admittedly, it doesn't help our scaling, but the scaling appears to be doing just fine on its own right now. Everything seems to be going pretty well. That's probably as, as good as it could be. Because now we got that backline unit. We're not afraid. No crit, no crit, no crit. No crit, let's go! Our kangaroos going to the moon. We got an, a, a backline unit that can't do anything worse than a draw. That's fantastic. We could always pill this walrus. It just, literally a pill just showed up. Guess what? Don't hit the kangaroo though. I just bought that carrot. Thank you. That's amazing. We might get overridden, but so be it. Okay, so we don't really care for uh, a mantis. You could buy a leopard. I just don't see us running it long term. I, I'd, I'd feel more comfortable even with just something like this. And then probably a melon on our buffalo soon. It's a good looking squad. I, I'm missing something with the taper, okay? I know they had to change it from like when it was in pre-release because it was too good or something. But I just, I sort of don't understand what situation would ever make me want to have... And you got me, by the way. The power of a level 2 dragonfly. Why would I ever want to have a taper that could summon a unit that I already have? When instead I could just buy another of those units. And I, I, I'm being legitimate with you when I say that I'm probably just missing something. Because I'm sure you could concoct a situation in this game where that would really help you out. Also, can I say, a little disappointed, no tiger. I haven't seen a tiger yet. On the, on the floatsome or on the jetsome side. Pain. By the way, we're getting destroyed. <laughs> have you noticed this? <laughs> These last few teams have uh, uh, been destroying me to a huge degree. Um, take some more support to buff the kangaroo. Pineapple on our snake? No pineapple on our snake? I don't know what to do. I'll give you one of those. Maybe a level one snake wasn't the play. Maybe our are being forced to stick with this otter, even with a stake on him. Maybe he's not quite good enough. Or maybe we just fought some pros. It's been known to happen. Take one of those. Oh, <laughs> take one of those. We got him here. This is, this is the dream. No stake me. Crushed. Okay. Pineapple solves this, but that's fine. We could still get to 10. We're, we're one away. Go ahead. Carrot, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say we're, we're not at that stage of the game. I'm looking for a pineapple, really. With no pineapple, really? No pineapple? Uh, honestly, I'd rather just get a cookie. It makes more sense to have a 2-2 buff on our best unit that scales the unit behind it, that scales the unit behind it, than an extra 1-1 one, one on our toad. Overwrite me. Dude, I'm looking at the teams, and I'm saying to myself... I didn't get to attack! I'm saying to myself, it's possible. It's possible. It's it's doable. It, it just happened. Okay. Look at that. Not so bad. Not so bad. I'll take my 10 piece. It's admittedly like the most boring squad you could ever ask for. Basically straight out of pack one minus the toad. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Seems like a cool weekly this week. Seems straightforward. Maybe we'll be able to play around a little bit later. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. See ya.